Hello, welcome back to Down the Track. We will be continuing continuing our review of the exciting cricket that's coming up. Uh, we already discussed about India Australia. We will now be discussing about South Africa and England as usual. We have Musti and me kind of just going over the review. Musti, the feeling of of the game, exciting cricket, some big players to watch out for. Yeah, yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to this series. I think uh, South Africa and home conditions. We saw some some of their players do really well in the IPL, so I'm excited to see them. The likes of uh, Decock, uh, Rabada, Nokia, they've yeah. been excellent in the IPL, so it'll be good to see them playing. And England, man, this is just a world class unit. The, every time I look at their squad, and um, it just look, it looks stronger and stronger. I think that the uh, on paper they look like the best white ball team on paper for me uh, uh, in both T20 and One Days. Uh, T20s in particular, they have like batting all the way through they have some decent uh, really good bowling as well so uh, this england team on paper looks the strongest but on the day you never know what can happen but well, absolutely i think um, both teams looking matching up well like you said rabada nokia uh, quinton de kock who's going to be leading the side faf duplessis i think some solid some solid uh, players on both ends uh, half as well yeah yeah england from 1 to 11 man i mean just perfect every every position they have one solid player and they have a backup also almost they have the likes of uh, the bowling in in the, of course they have the likes of archer mark wood uh, uh, they have adil rashid and moin ali and stuff like that i mean there are so many others a uh, batting ul morgan the captain he's been amazing the they have so they have a, a good headache in terms of having uh, going with besto butler roy they have that opening headache yeah. there's so many so many permutation combinations can, that can be done plenty uh, plenty some, of batting when you have two wicket keepers who uh, are guaranteed 11 spot that means they have a lot of batting and then even some of the all rounders uh, we already know ben stokes right and even yes. moin ali has done a really good job over the years but now sam kane as an all rounder looks lethal man yeah. you wouldn't see him in getting into that side because his bowling is not as quick as his brother but now because he provides with the bat and he's really good with the ball he has the variations like we saw in the IPL this IPL has i think got took him to another level so uh, their all round abilities as well as un- unbelievable yeah absolutely and some some very very exciting cricket to look forward to Yeah. um of course there's the india australia there's uh, there's this then there's new zealand west indies so so very looking very very eager just can't wait for another day or so to pass and we'll be we'll be having cricket again um, yeah. the national colors so yeah um uh, i think that kind of wraps up the the basic uh, kind of our initial thoughts on it we can go ahead and and just kind of uh, dive into the ideal 11 i will kind of of course it will depend on a lot of factors but i the ideal 11 would be interesting Yeah I mean like uh, South Africa there are some core players there but then you have uh, uh, some other players who will chip in I think um, so if you look at South Africa's ideal 11 I'll go Quinton de Kock of course captain wicketkeeper opening batsman it'll be really inter- interesting to see how he captains the side um, mm-hmm. he's the future now for South Africa he's shown with the bat what he can do and even with the gloves he's incredible he had a brilliant IPL so I'll go with Quinton de Kock as my opening batsman then Risa Hendricks I think uh, recently they've been going with him so it'll be um, he probably partner Quinton uh, Uh, he'll probably want to rotate the strike and even like take the pressure off when needed. And then uh, one down, Vander Dusen. I think he's uh, South Africa's future as well in the middle order. Uh, so it'll be exciting to see him. I've seen him play live in the GT20. I was very impressed by him. So it'll be interesting to see how he plays. And then I'll go five to plus C. And then uh, of course, uh, ex cap. Uh, he's not the captain anymore in the T20 yeah. side, but um, a lot of experience over there. And then you have Henrik Klassen. Um, he can also take the gloves if needed a good batsman david miller we've been talking about this guy for a long time we know what he can do just hope he can show up and then flackley ko i think will play make the number 7 spot robada 8 i'll play shamsi as my spinner there's maharaj there as well but i just think because of the leg spin wicket taking option and then i'll go nokia and gidi so the fast bowling lineup looks very solid Yeah, absolutely. I think that's that's perfect. I mean, that's exactly how my team lines up as well. Uh, all the other points are uh, absolutely accurate. I think um, uh, no real. You you can't really say that there's any kind of um, uh, weakness per se. I think maybe just that uh, they, they all they all look good. Uh, probably mm-hmm. just that a uh, little bit on, in terms of that extra bowler. Maybe again similar kind of issue with them. Yeah. Uh, but I think I think they 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 do decently as well. I think I, I think. Um, uh, Pretty solid lineup over there. If um, AB can be available for the T20 World Cup, this team will be next level. Surprised. It'll be yeah. yeah, it'll be a team which will surprise people. You know what I mean? Like uh, if they yeah. can get AB, uh, especially after lineup. especially after being very very underwhelming in the last type in the last World Cup. So yeah, if they can get AB De Villiers in this lineup, but credit to them. You know, the South Africa a lot of issues, political issues, even the cricket board had issues, uh, yeah. but they still have players. You know, like players you want to watch. Uh, so uh, credit to them, and hopefully they can have a good series against a. Excellent England side. Yep, I think that moving on to the England eleven. 
Yeah. Okay. So the opening, <laughs> you go, the the opening, you can go a, a, any way, right? Like yeah. it's very difficult uh, to uh, you know cement. You, you have like four or five options. You mentioned Roy Bairstow. You have Butler. Ben Stokes opened in the IPL as well. Um, so you have a lot of op- even uh, David Milan. They have a lot of opening options. But I'm going with Butler and Roy. A uh, Butler because he's averaging 50 for England in the opening uh, slot. Um, he can bat anywhere. But I would just like like I think this partnership would look good go- going forward. I think they'll utilize the power play of course you can adjust it but uh, this is what i would like to see early on butler and roy and um i was a, uh, a bit hesitant I-, I wanted to play moin ali one down i think uh, i really like him as a player and i think he can offer spin but i don't know if they're going to use all his four overs so i'd go um one down i'd go david milan i think he's been excellent um his stats show everything like yes he he, he starts off slowly but once he settles, you know, he can up that rate. We saw in the Pakistan series in the summer, he batted beautifully. He started off slow, but then he picked up the rate. So, and he's been in incredible form. So it's a bit difficult to drop him. So I'll go Malan, one down. Then two down, I'll go Johnny Bairstow. Sunrisers, wicket keeper, your boy. Um, you know, I think in the middle order, he can solidify. He plays in well uh, as well. Uh, so I think... Um, I'd like to see him in that middle order. Uh, five, Morgan. Um, six, uh, Ben Stokes. Uh, that's a bit lower for him, but you can adjust that. Or you could go... Uh, actually, I would go... You could go Ben Stokes and then Morgan. Uh, I'll explain that later. But I'll, I'll explain it now. Morgan, because uh, his strike rate in the death was incredible. He's like 230 yeah. or 240. One of the best strike rates in the depth overs. Right. Um, and because of this lineup, you have to adjust people here. There. I know yeah. you're a backer of Morgan at four, but yeah. I'd probably go Stokes five, Morgan six, or you can play with that. And then <laughs> Zephyr and Sam Curran. Uh, Archer at 8, Jordan at 9, Adil Rashid at 10, and Mark Ward at 11. Uh, and if you want to keep Moin Ali 12th man, if you need to, you can bring in that extra spinner. And then if Stokes can both four overs, then you can replace the fast bowler. Yeah. I think I think I agree completely with you, but I think this is such a hard decision, but I will keep Moin Ali in my team. Um, at, at, at the expense of, unfortunately, Johnny, uh, I don't know who else Ooh, I can do. How can you do that, man? Yeah, I know it's just so unfair. But uh, I mean, he's been he's been very very good. Uh, he he was unfortunately uh, even in the Sunrisers team who didn't get a few games because of the the four foreign player issue. Even here, I think the team is just so unbelievably stacked. But I just feel like um, I feel like uh, as you know, I, I've been a big backer of of Morgan at four, so I have Morgan at four, Stokes at five. My top three are, 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 are exactly the same as you. Morgan at four, Strokes at five. I'll play Ali at six, Sam Curran at seven. And the bowling department is again the same for me as well. So that's kind of how I'd go. I just feel like it gives a little bit more balance and yeah. gives a little bit extra uh, bowling option uh, for, for the captain as well. Because your top four don't, don't bowl, but everything, everyone from five to seven, five to 11 kind of can bowl well. And uh, your top kind of, Moen Ali can, uh, is, is a pretty solid finisher and uh, he can pa- pair up with Sam Curran and... Uh, uh, ben Stokes to kind of give you that uh, finishing capability as well. So I, I just feel like that that kind of uh, works enough. in my favor a little bit more. I, I wouldn't be surprised if Johnny, of course, takes gets the gets the nod ahead of uh, Moin Ali. It'd be unfortunate. There's a, there's a possibility of maybe dropping Sam Curran and keeping Ali at seven because that kind of similar role, the all rounder all rounder kind of role. Because Stokes can also give you a couple of overs if needed. So they have a lot of options over there. Uh, it's a it's a good headache to have for for England. So. Uh, we'll we'll see how it goes, but um, uh, looking forward again, like I said, I'm just very excited with this for this for this series. Um, your players to watch out for in each of the each of the elevens. No, for South Africa, Quinton De Kock as batsman, opening batsman as keeper, and especially as captain. I want to see how he captains the side. So I'll go uh, Quinton De Kock. And for England, I want to see. Um, Man, the, you can pick anybody from this team. <laughs> you, you want me to go different? I'll go Adil Rashid. Uh, I'll just yeah. see how he goes. Uh, I think his spin, uh, uh, like, you know, leg spin is the way to go in T20s we've seen in the recent past. And if he can pick up wickets and uh, that'll put pressure, that'll help the likes of Archer, who didn't get as much support in the IPL from his uh, bowling mates. But if he can pick up wickets, it'll help the likes of Archer, Sam Kerr, and Wood as well. So I think uh, I'm just going with a completely thing, but you can pick anybody from this team. Yeah, I agree. Um, for me, for me, Faf Duplessis. I mean, no more captaincy. He focused on the batting, and he's a, he's an absolute um, uh, incredible batsman. I just like to see him uh, let loose and and really you know give those runs in the middle and kind of finish those innings for for South Africa. And um, uh, like you said, anyone in the eleven, but um, uh, Ben Stokes can can look past him. He's he's the he's the man. He's the go to man for for yeah, definitely. For, uh, you saw you saw that super man. Uh, yeah. He had he started off slowly at the in the IPL as well, but really picked up pace in, uh, in the towards the end of the tournament. 
So yeah, looking looking forward to see how he performs in the England, yeah. England colours as well. Yeah, he likes South Africa as well. He has a dust double hundred there as well, so yeah. he's he likes yeah. it. So uh, tipping uh, England to win, I think no surprises over there. Ah, uh-huh. for the series or yeah, 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 yeah. for the series, yeah. Yeah, I think I'd go England, but um, it might be closer than what we expect because this England team is incredibly strong. But T20, you just need a moment of brilliance here and there, and South Africa can pro- provide that. Yeah. But yeah, I'm going England just because of the paper. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. I think England, England's a England's a it's safer safer bet. Safer bet, yeah. <laughs> so fair enough. I think that wraps it up. Any other last thoughts? Uh, no, I think it's going to be an incredible series. Can't wait. Uh, some exciting talent. Uh, hope to uh, uh, hope to see some big hits. It's good. South Africa has generally smaller grounds. Uh, unfortunately, this uh, series will be played behind closed doors, so we won't see any fans. But uh, hoping to see some exciting cricket and some uh, nail biting encounters for sure. Yep, agreed, one hundred percent. I think that wraps it up. Thank you. Looking forward to the cricket. Jaman, thank you. Take care.